Hey guys, Todd from Vapor Honing Technologies. Today we're going to discuss buying a vapor honing machine and what size machine you actually need to get. This particular machine, which is the 685, we have a bell housing inside right now. The bell housing fits, but it doesn't leave you enough room to actually get in and blast the part. So when you're considering a machine, you also need to consider the size of your parts and if you're gonna have the ability to actually get in there and clean those parts. We're gonna move this to a different machine and show you how a larger machine will help with trying to clean these parts. So we've moved it over to our 3024. This machine's a little bit larger, still not quite enough room to get that part in there to where we can blast all the way around it. We're gonna move up one more size on machine and let you see what that one looks like. All right guys, we've moved on over to our VH800 uh, to show you that there is enough room in this cabinet for the part. You have enough room to be able to get your hands in and actually clean the part. You want to be able to stay four to six inches away from your part while blasting and not right up on top of it. So when picking a cabinet, not only does your part size matter, but the size of that cabinet that the part's going in is going to be the key factor in this. So when you're looking for a cabinet, make sure that your parts are actually going to fit and you have room to work. If you have any other questions, give us a call. Phone number is 828-202-5563. My extension is 108. Thanks for watching.